Gary, and today I'm going to show you how to turn your fog lights from this to this. So first you're going to want to jack up your car. Let me turn these lights off real quick so it don't die. But first you're going to want to jack up your car, and you're going to want to take the wheel off, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and take the wheel off right now. You're going to want to move your stuff out of the way. You're going to get a screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver. It's going to be kind of hard. And this bolt right here, and this bolt right here, you want to take out. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. done that, you're just going to want to pull this little plastic piece out from under it. And just have someone hold it back. See, it's right there. So just have someone hold it back. In my case, I'll probably just pry it against something. But if you do have another person with you, it's always better to do that. And then you just stick your hand in there and take that bulb out. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right Once now. Once you got that bulb hanging out, there's a little clip right there. Watch out, sometimes the bulb's hot. Just lift that clip up pretty hard, one-handed, not gonna lie. Just gonna wanna lift that clip up, make sure not to break the old one. And just slide it out. Set that one down. And you guys wanna go get your new one right here. You just bought some Chinese Ching Chang Wish ones. Make sure you order the right size. I believe these are, yep, right there. 905 so if you guys are using Dodge caliber and I believe the neon is the same And you're just gonna want to grab that out of there. It's got a little remote that comes with it probably cost me like 10 bucks, maybe I'm gonna grab that Slip it on there And before you put it back in you're gonna want to check make sure they work. So I'm gonna go ahead and over here Turn it on and pull it out and yep see it's working we're just going to put it in the casing, just like that one, and I'll show you guys what it looks like after. And you're just going to try to wedge this piece back here. It might take some, it might take two hands, but you don't want that showing. It's going to look dumb. So just try to get that back there. It's kind of hard with one hand, but there we go. We can get that back there. We'll line it back up. There it is right there. It's this little pop-out piece. You really need to keep that in there or else it won't screw back. So pop that back into that wheel well. Like that. Pop that bitch back in and put it back there. And pop those pieces back in, screw them up, tighten them. You're gonna wanna throw your wheel on, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Now right once you put your wheel on, you're gonna wanna drop your jack. Which this jack actually drops pretty hard. And once you've done that, you're gonna want to torque them at the bottom. So we'll you guys finish that. that. You guys can finally enjoy your lights. So you got a little remote here. But the only thing that sucks about this kit that I found so far is that if you're pressing it or whatever, you can only change one at a time. So I gotta keep pressing each time. Like I wanna change this to red. Boom, red. See it's still green. Well, I guess that could be pretty cool too, because if you guys go with like a theme, like um, Christmas theme, fuck it, you can make this one green and then that one red. So I guess that's that's kind of pretty cool actually. You could change like the brightness, how bright the shit is. I'm gonna have mine up. Uh, I'm not sure what that one is. I think that's a young setting or something. So yeah, I'll just go through all the colors here. You guys can see everything. Strobes and all types of stuff. Blue. Which I'll probably mainly have it like a purple or something like that. Probably like that. I just can't really tell that well, but yeah, I'll probably have it something like that. But yeah, that's a little simple installation on how to do uh, aftermarket fog lights in your car. And the only reason I posted this is because I've seen people take apart their whole fucking bumper and all types of shit, make it a two hour job, when in reality it probably only took me like 30 minutes to do this. And I think it looks great. But I'll leave the link to where I bought it down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.